In this example, we want to find a power series for arc tangent of x centered at x equals 0. Okay, so to do this, uh, recall that the integral of 1 over 1 plus squared is equal to arc tangent x plus some constant. Okay. All right, so this so this function here, okay, we can use this, okay. So we know, okay, we know that for the function of 1 over 1 plus x, okay, the power series for this is just going to be uh, the summation of minus 1 to the n of x to the n, okay. I can just write it like this. Okay, and that simply is because 1 over 1 plus x, okay, we can rewrite that as, okay, this is the same as 1 over 1 minus negative x. And then using the geometric power series rule, uh, we can get to the series, okay. So now, so the series, you can treat it just like a function, okay. So the series that we have, okay, I'm sorry, the function that we have is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So what we can do is we can replace, okay, we can replace x with x squared, okay, and this will give us 1 over 1 plus x squared, okay, and this is equal to, okay, this is going to give us the series of minus 1 to the n times x squared to the power n. Okay, so that is going to be equal to minus 1 to the n. Okay. Okay, minus 1 to the n times x to the power 2n. Okay. So then from there, okay, we know the integral of 1 over integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared is arctangent. So we can take the integral of this series, okay? All right. Okay, so we know that. So, okay, so arctangent, okay, is going to be equal to, since we know arctangent is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared, and now we know the power series for 1 over 1 plus x squared. Okay, so that was here. Okay, this is what we just figured out. Okay, so we're going to take the integral of that series. Okay, so now, okay, we have... Okay, so taking the integral of this, um, we have minus 1 to the n, that's just a constant. Okay, so we're taking the integral with respect to x. So this is going to be x to the 2n plus 1, all divided by 2n plus 1, plus some constant. Okay, so now to figure out the constant, we can use the fact that we're expanding at 0. So the series will always converge at, at the expansion point, okay? All right, so for x equal to 0, okay, we have that the arc tangent of 0 is going to be equal to uh, plugging in 0 into the series. This is just going to give us 0. Okay. Okay, and so then that implies that c must be zero because the r tangent of zero is zero. Okay, so obviously then c must be zero. Okay, so then we have our series for r tangent. So that is from minus, oh, I'm sorry, minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, 
divided by 2n plus 1. Okay, so now we need to check the, um, the interval of convergence here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so find, find the interval of convergence. Or we can do, uh, we, uh, for this we can use the uh, ratio test, okay? All right, so we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. Of let's see, this should be absolute value. So the nth plus one term, okay. So that's going to be. Okay, let's do that over here. Let's first figure out the nth plus one term. So that's so the nth term, or the nth plus one term is going to be uh, minus one to the n plus one times x. So we substitute n, we substitute n plus one in for n. Okay, and then divide by two times n plus one plus one. So this is going to give us minus 1 to the n plus 1 times x to the 2n plus 3. And then divide by 2n plus 3. Okay. All right. So, okay, so now we need to take the limit of the nth plus 1 term. Okay, so let's need to make some room here. Okay, so let's do that down here. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of minus 1 to the n plus 1 times x to the 2n plus 3 divided by 2n plus 3 okay, times, and we're going to take the reciprocal of the, of the denominator, so that's going to give us uh, minus 1 or actually 2n plus 1 divided by minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1. Okay. All right. So then from here, So the negative 1 to the n plus 1 minus n, again, same, same thing as before. So you have minus n to the minus n, that's going to cancel out. And then we have a minus 1 up here. So that's going to eventually, uh, we can take the absolute value. We can take that outside. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, x to the 2n plus 3 over x to the 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 3. Okay, so now this is equal to, so we have x to the 2n plus 3 divided by x to the 2n plus 1. So that's going to leave us with an x squared up top. And we have x, uh, sorry, 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 3. Okay, so we can take out the absolute value of x squared. So we're going to have the limit of 2n plus 1. divided by 2n plus 3. Okay. So this limit is equal to 1. Okay, because you can you can think of this as a rational function of 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. So, um, so taking the limit as x approaches infinity will give you 1. So therefore, this is going to equal to 1. So then for this, okay, so for this series to converge, um, we need the, we're going to have, okay, 
this condition. Okay, so that means whichever x value is this is converging for will satisfy this inequality. And this is the same as okay, algebraically this is equivalent. Okay. So x has to be between negative one and one. So now we need to check endpoints. Okay. So check endpoints. All right, so let x be equal to one, okay. And for that, okay, for that series, we're gonna get, we plug in one back into our series. Okay, we're gonna get one. So we get one to the two n plus one. So that's gonna give us one. So we're gonna have one over two n plus one, okay times negative one to the n. Okay, so we're gonna have minus one to the n divided by two n plus one. Okay. So there's an alternate series, okay. Okay, which means we can use the alternate series test. Okay. All right, so we're gonna check, okay. Okay, we need to check that the limit as n approaches infinity of one over two n plus one. So um, that is going to zero. Okay, that's the first condition. Second condition is that the nth plus one term must be less than or equal to the nth term. So that is, we have one over two times n plus one plus one less than or equal to one over two n plus one. Okay, so then from here we have one over two n plus three, and that's less than or equal to one over two n plus one. Okay, so this is definitely true, and furthermore we can verify that that's just gonna be this is just 2n plus 1 less than or equal to 2n plus 3. And this is 1 less than or equal to 3. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, okay. So, that is true. So, therefore, uh, the original statement is true that the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay. So therefore, this uh, series is converging at one, okay? Okay, so therefore, this is converging. Okay, so it converges, okay? Converges at one. So now we need to check for negative one. Okay. Okay, so let x be equal to negative one. Okay, so for that we're going to get so plugging in negative one. Okay, that's going to give us, so we have minus 1 to the n. To the negative 1 to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Okay. All right. So this is the same as. All right, so we have 
that and we'll fix this. Okay. So we have minus one to the n and then minus one to the two n. So times negative one. Divided by two n plus one. So minus one to the two n, this is just right, this is just one. Okay, because it's minus one squared, right? Okay, regardless of what n is, you're always going to get something to the power of to an even power. Okay, so that's minus one is to the even power is always going to be one. And then we have minus one to the n. And then we have a negative. So the negative uh, we can take outside. So that's going to leave us with minus one to the n all over two n plus one. So this is similar to what we had before. Okay, the only difference is that like looking here, okay, uh, we have a minus on the outside. And we know from this, okay, we know that this series converges by the alternating series test. So therefore, the constant doesn't have any effect on the convergence. Okay, meaning that um, if the series converges, and if you multiply that series by a constant, then that series will still converge. Okay, so this is, uh, so this converges. Okay. So we don't need to do any justification for that. All right, so, um, so it's converging at negative one as well. Okay. Okay, so that means k okay, for okay, so for arc tangent. Okay. Therefore, right, we have okay, so for arc tangent. Okay, the power series is from zero to infinity of minus one to the n times x to the two n plus one. And let me move this down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so x to the two n plus one divided by two n plus one. Okay, and the constant was zero. Okay, so this is quite interesting actually. Um, we can use this actually to come up with a series for pi. Okay, because we know that, okay, arc tangent. So arc tangent of. of one, okay, arc tangent of one, okay, is equal to, right, pi over four. Okay, so that means if I plug in, right, if we take x equals one and plug it into the series, then we get the series for pi over four, okay, so we have that pi over four, Okay, is equal to the series for uh, minus one to the n times one to the two n plus one. So times one to the two n plus one divided by two n plus one. Okay, so that is the same as so one to the two n plus one is just one. So that's so this is this so this series is the same as minus one to the n over two n plus one. Okay. So that is the series for pi over four. So what we can do is if we want to get a series for pi, just multiply uh, both sides by four. Okay, so we have that pi is equal to the series of four times minus one to the n divided by two n plus one, okay? So it's a nice uh, nice result from our, uh, from, for this, from the series of arctangent, okay? 
Okay.